Thank you. I now like to invite uh, Alka Tyagi. She runs a very um, uh, it's, a, it's a joint venture between Ministry of Commerce and De Beers on trading rough diamonds. This sounds very interesting, and uh, maybe she'd like to comment about her experience in uh, in Russia. Uh, excellencies, distinguished panelists, good evening. Uh, as Mr. Bhartia said, this is one of the few public-private enterprises that we have in India which have run very really successfully. And uh, the recognition of the fact by the Chair that there is tremendous scope for improvement in our trade between our two countries is very heartening for me. Uh, I was here to engage specifically because uh, I'll, I'll make my, my talk very short and sweet. I'm dealing in something very short and sweet, which is diamonds. We are the largest uh, known traders in diamonds coming from the government of India, and we have the largest consumer base in the country. I was hoping to engage with uh, Mr. Olin, but I think he realized that I was here to extract an agreement out of him, and therefore the chair may kindly note that at the last minute he's, he's not present. So I would request the chair to kindly convey my request to him. Uh, in fact, we have been trying to uh, sign off an agreement with Al Rosa. Al Rosa does have a presence in India. But our two companies would represent a very strategic partnership as far as India is concerned, because Russia today has the largest known reserves, or one of the largest known reserves of uh, diamonds in the world. And India has the largest consumer captive audience as far as diamonds is concerned. As you would all be aware, every 10 out of 11 diamonds which are produced all over the world come to India either for polishing or manufacturing. So as far as the diamond industry is concerned, India represents tremendous scope for trade between our two countries. And again, my, my specific request to the Chair to please convey the to Al Rosa. Also, I would take advantage of the invitation given by the Chair to be a little frank as far as uh, this discussion is concerned. Uh, when His Excellency Prime Minister Putin had visited in, there was an in-principle agreement that we would be signed on by Al Rosa as one of the strategic partners and uh, star business. Unfortunately, that has not happened. The discussions have continued between the representatives of our two ministries. Nothing has happened, and I was hoping to force Mr. Ulin to sign that off during this visit. So if the chair could kindly take my request that far. But uh, I can assure you that uh, it's okay, very heartening to note that some of you who have a presence in India have very nice stories to tell. I'm sure if that gets conveyed to Al Rosa, Al Rosa will not be as scared to sign off an agreement with us. And I can also show you that uh, since we're a strategic mix of public and private enterprise, you will have the best of both the worlds. So with that, I end my remarks. And uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to be here and to interact with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alka. We, would, uh, you know, we have Deepak Lumba, who is running a very interesting business, started his career in Russia. Maybe you'd like to share some of your uh, own. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Chairman and all the distinguished guests. Uh, well, we are a semiconductor fab uh, in India. And um, I quite proudly uh, very often say that I'm a product of Russian science, uh, as I had a uh, long time back studied physics and mathematics in Moscow State University. So, um, uh, gentlemen, one thing that uh, I personally feel we probably need to pay most attention on is the fact that uh, there are a few commonalities which we have, I mean, the Indians and Russians, and we both respect, uh, you know, those commonalities in each other. And those commonalities are love of mathematics, love of science. I think largely uh, the, in, the Russian scientific community uh, really does have a great respect for Indian science, for Indian mathematics, and so do Indians have a lot of uh, respect.